uh, the biblical truth of our hymns. It's a great thing that we have a Bible that I can read to you the King James Bible because I guess we could pass off any hymn if we didn't read our Bible. So let's start with the Bible today before I present to you our hymns. And Matthew chapter 2 in the Gospel of Matthew King James Bible would hate to have you get messed up in another Bible. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come up to worship him. When Herod the king heard these things, he was troubled. I mean, another king? My throne is in trouble. And all Jerusalem with him. Jerusalem should have been happy. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and the scribes and the people together, he demanded where Christ should be born. And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea, For, this, for thus is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, art not thou least of the princes of Judah? For out of thee shall come a governor, capital G, that shall rule my people Israel. And Herod, when he was privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, young child, young child. And when he was found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. And when they had heard the king, they departed and lo, the star which they saw in the east, went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly great joy. And when they were come into the house, they said they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented him with gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh and being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod they departed into their own country another way okay so a lot of wealth on this one and I suppose you want to know what the name of this hymn is today or maybe you do know but let's look at the hymn we don't know how many kings of Orient are oh wait a minute no that's not the title I'm sorry we assume three kings of or no, that's not the title either. We three kings of Orient are. That's the title. Now the writer and the, the music and the words are by John Henry Hopkins Jr. from October 28th, 1820 to August 14th, 1891. He was an American clergyman and a hymn writer. Hopkins was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the son of John Henry Hopkins, an Episcopal bishop. So here's a man that his father is not only an Episcopal, but he's a bishop of the Episcopal <laughs> Church. And he wrote the words and music to this famous hymn, We Three Kings, as part of a Christmas pageant for his nieces and his nephews. Oh, isn't that just so sweet? A Visit from Santa Claus was written for children, too, by another clergy member. You gotta be careful with the ministries for children, because we will change the whole entire Bible so we can broaden the little kitties. Satanic. Satanic. It is suggested it had been written in 1857, but did not appear in print until his carol, hymns, and songs in 1863. All right, so Hopkins serves as a rector of the Trinity Church in Pittsburgh, New York, from 1872 to 1876, and of Christ Episcopal Church in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, from 1876 to 1880. This is a guy, he doesn't just sit in a pew in a church. He is in charge of the pews, the people in the pew. He's involved with teaching the people <coughs> Scripture. 
He delivered the eulogy for the funeral of the President Ulysses S. Grant in 1885 and died in Hudson, New York. The latter part of his career, the, mo the major area of focus was priest and pastor, priest, pastor, rector, all right, of uh, the Episcopal Church. Sorry. Uh, excuse me. Most Episcopal services are similar to structure and in liturgy to the Roman Catholic Church. Dun, 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 dun. So we have a, a, a church that's not the Roman Catholic Church, but they're just an offset. Uh, a, 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 a daughter, can I be biblical? Of the Roman Catholic Church. As the Eucharist is the center focus of the service. <laughs> the service. Sometimes called the Mass in high church in some broad church circle. By the way, you know, if you look in Episcopal, which I did today, the dictionary that's online, they list Christmas as Christ space mass. All right, Episcopals, you got it right. We got it wrong, but you got it right. The two great and necessary sacraments are holy baptism, they call it holy baptism, and holy Eucharist, they call it holy Eucharist. That's where you take Jesus, his literal body, and his literal blood, and you dine. Not me. I take the Lord's Supper. That's not holy. I was baptized after I was saved. That wasn't holy. But here's the man. In this church, somebody of importance, we three, uh, no, excuse me, we three kings, originally titled Three Kings of Orient, also known as Three Kings, we three kings of Orient are, or Quests of the Magi, it goes under aliases, is a Christmas carol that was written by John Henry Hopkins in 1857. Now, let me show you something. Gold. I'm going to say, I'm going to get it wrong, but I've read Chronicles. Gold. Gaspard. Frankincense. Melkara. M E L C H I O R. Myrrh. Bots Hazard. B A L T H A Z A R. Now let's look up Gaspard in, in my computer, uh, computer, my computer Bible here. Let's look it up. Hey, it's not there. Oh. And you say, Styler, what'd you just do? Are you teaching us Hebrew? Are you teaching us Greek? What are you doing? Of the Western Church. Of a man that is a Episcopal priest, pastor, rector. 1857, Gold Gaspard. Now, I read to you Matthew 2, didn't I? Did you read Gaspar, Melkar, or Hazard? You didn't. But Gaspar is the mad guy that brought the gold. Malkar, he's the Magi that brought the frankincense. And Balthazar was the Magi that brought the myrrh. In 1857, a priest, pastor, rector, a graduate of seminary, Episcopal, led a flock of people, has come to name a name that's not ever named in the pages of the Bible. Isn't that interesting? John Henry Hopkins Jr. organized the carol in such a way that three male voices would each sing a single verse by himself in order to correspond with the three kings, and that would be two, three, and four. Two would have a male voice, three would have another one, and four would have the third male voice. He honestly believed that with his writing of his carol, that there were three mad guys and there were names given to him that you cannot find in the pages of the Bible. Of a priest, a pastor, and a rectum. A re rector, sorry. Yeah. He's been drinking too much Jesus' blood. <laughs> sorry, excuse me. I, I, I did a Bible search on my, I don't know if I can mention it, but uh, my sword searcher. It's a wonderful program. It has helped me through the, ever since I bought that program, it has been a great thing of all that I have done with the ministry and my, my commentaries and graduating myself as a doctor. 
Dr. Stanley Hayward of theology, and I can tell you there are no names, there are no three kings of Orient. But this rectum of the Episcopal Church has their name and tells us how many there are, though the Bible doesn't say how many. And you're turned off by because I use cruel language. You're not turned off because I'm speaking the truth. The first and last verse of the carol are sung together by all three verse of praise. While the intermediate verses are sung individually for each king describing the gift that he was bringing. Uh, three came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Uh, let's see, where else, where else, where else? When they saw, they came, they grew, I don't ever read, and I could be wrong about this one, I didn't really look it up, but where does it say they were kings? Wise men. You go back, I'll let you go check that. I don't know if they were called kings, I didn't. Uh, let's get it right. Behold, three wise men came from the east. The king of the Jews, that's Jesus. And let's see, I'm going, I'm skimming through here real quick. He sent them. When they heard the king departed, lo, the star which they saw in the east went before him till they came and stood over where the child was. And they saw the star, they rejoiced when they come into the house, the young man. And I don't see king. So let me come over here. Let's just be honestly complete over here. Let's do a search on Matthew. Let's look up king and let's look up book matthew i'm doing the sword searcher great program all right matthew chapter 2 king <clears throat> excuse me now there was jesus was born in bethlehem in judea in the days of herod the king verse 2 saying where is the born king of the jews verse 3 when herod the king verse 9 and when they had heard the king they departed that's the only king in chapter 2, where we read about these wise men. So Mr. Episcopalian that sits behind a pulpit, who has gotten a, a, a seminary decree, can't read Matthew chapter 2. He must be adding to the Bible. So when we say, We three kings of Orient Point, we have added to God's word. May we anger and may God mad as we sing this stupidness in our church. I think you already know what my attitude is about this hymn to be sung in the church. And you know what? Most of this carol is good. Yeah, as God said. So, aha, how do you guys expect me to do this? The refrain proceeds to praise the beauty of the star of Bethlehem. Chapter and verse. It was a piece of light in the sky. There is no description given of the beauty of that star. It says, you know, we've seen his star in the east. We've seen his star in the east. When that star came over the house where Jesus was. We'll get into that in a minute. Hence the names of the Magi, Malkara, Caspar, and Balthazar. Their status as kings on the Orient are allegedly and based on tradition, cocky puck, garbage. Which probably comes from Catholic, which comes from Babylonian, which comes from Tammuz, which comes from all G-O-D-S with a small g. It comes from religion. It is not found in the pages of the Bible. I'm King James. We're King James Bible believing church. Yay! Don't change the word of God. Let's open our Bible. Let's open our hymns. We're going to sing for Christmas. We three kings of Orient mess. Changing the word of God we do best. Hiding yonder be careful. Lucifer was the song leader in heaven. He knows how to fool the saints. Come on, why don't we look at the history? Why don't we look at what we're doing? 
We put all faith in the pastor. We put all faith in the song leader. And we don't realize that under that, those titles of office, this guy was a pastor. Guy was a priest. Do you know what the Bible says about the priesthood in the New Testament? Though Romans 1 says I'm a priest, I don't go by the title priest. All right, let's look at some more of this John Hopkins. Although he originally worked as a journalist for a New York newspaper, <laughs> fake news, fake news, fake news, we three kings of a writer of a newspaper, <laughs> study to be a lawyer. <laughs> he gone from worse to worse. He chose to join, you know, there's only one good lawyer in the Bible. He chose to join the clergy under graduating from the University of Vermont. Hopkins studied at the General Theological Seminary in New York City. Whoa! And after graduating, he, he being ordained a deacon in 1850, he became the first music teacher five years later. You do know the realm of music in the Bible, don't you? Holding the post until 1857 alongside his ministry in the Episcopal Church. Hopkins wrote We Three Kings for a Christmas pageant held in the college. We know Christmas is not Bible. Just keep adding non-Bible, non-Bible, non-Bible. It was for the first Christmas carol. Now get this. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Drum roll, please. Na -na 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 -na. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. It was the first Christmas carol originating from the United States to achieve widespread popularity. So out of the United States, the, the uh, carol, the first carol of America that has grained a great expectation is this nonsense, We Three Kings. You know what else came out of America? The, 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 the charismatic movement, California. Uh, Jehovah Witnesses out of New York. Mormonism out of New York. Mary Baker Eddy. America is not a Christian organization, a foundation of what is Bible. Okay, so let's look at the hymn. Ready? We three, chapter and verse, Mr. Priest, Pastor, Rector. Well, you know, there was gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We're going to assume. You know what happens when you assume? You know what the first three letters of assume is? Okay. Wow. Second word. We three kings of Orient. From the east. Yeah, the Bible says from the east. From the east to Jerusalem. But it didn't say how far. Chapter and verse. Let's look at a definition, shall we? The Orient is an eastern part of Asia. The Orient includes countries and regions like Japan, China, Korea, Hong Kong, I thought that was a city, and Taiwan. Asia is a much larger continent, which includes places like India, Pakistan, Cambodia, Tibet, Nepal, and most of Russia. Now, if you're going to go Bible with Bible, what the Bible has told us with Daniel, with Genesis, I am going to assume with the Bible, now I'm assuming, but I am not going to make a document statement and press it down and write a song about it. These men probably came from Babylon. You've read about Babylon visiting a, first, a certain king that God says, hey, what sign shall you have? Oh, make the, make the sundial go back 10 degrees and up comes Babylon. Oh. <sighs> You did study your Bible, didn't you? You do know your Bible. I guess not. I guess we got to have pirates and, and little veggies that talk to you, something like that. All right. Bearing gifts, we traverse far. Field and fountain, mountain, mountains, follow the under star. Born a king, yes, in Bethlehem, Pain. Now, Bethlehem... It's located at an elevation of about 775 meters 
or 2,543 feet above sea level. It is 30 meters or 98 feet higher than nearby Jerusalem. I call that a mountain. I wouldn't call that a plain. But. Okay. Gold I bring to crown him king. And gold in the Bible is king, authority, rulership. King forever, okay. See thee never over us all to reign. Like I said, some of this is good. But frankincense to offer have I. Incense own a uh, deity nigh. God, G deity. It's an offering of prayer of the saints. Luke chapter 1. Has always been a type of, of the, the incense offered to God that's sweet smelling. Prayer and praising, gladly raising. Worship him, God on high. So, okay. Myrrh is mine. Again, there's simply one individual person. It's bitter, it's bitter perfume, breathes a life of gathering gloom, sorrowing, sighing, bleeding, dying, sealed in the stone cold tomb. And myrrh just comes to represent in the Bible death. That's what it means. It was used for embalming. Myrrh was present at Jesus' death and burial. Jesus was offered wine and myrrh before his crucifixion. They brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes to, to, to prepare the body for burial, both before he was sealed and after, when the women came. Liquid myrrh is sometimes added to egg tempera in making icons. <gasps> you know why you would add that to the mixture of icons? Because icons are dead. They have noses they smell not, they have eyes they see not, they have ears they can't hear like me right now with allergies and infection. Myrrh is mixed with frankincense and sometimes more sense and is used almost every service of the Eastern Orthodox, Oriental Orthodox, traditional Roman Catholic, and Anglican and Episcopal churches. So when you get that older in that church, it just makes you want to gag. There it is. Why would they burn something in their church that represents dead, death, burial? Because their service is death, burial, dead. I mean, some churches, I mean, especially the Catholic, you don't have to go far to the graveyard. Walk out the door, there it is. I've been in the Catholic church. Ooh, what's that smell? Glorious now, behold him arise, the resurrection. King and God is <coughs> sacrifice. <coughs> Excuse me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sound through the earth and sky. Wow, that'd be verses two, three, and four. Five would be great. This trash can the first stanza. Because we don't know. And we don't know. It says wise men, it didn't say king. It said there were three gifts. How about we, the three gifts the wise men brought to Jesus? I don't know. What about that? Because it's man worship. Let's turn all our love and care and our carols, let's turn it from Jesus Christ to the men. Oh, it, it's about Jesus. Hold on. Let me, let me find you where it says Jesus. J-E-S-U-S. Stand by. I'll find it. Oh. There was no Jesus. But, oh, the three kings. Oh, the man that brought the frankincense. Oh, the man that brought the myrrh. Oh, the man that brought the gold. Oh, star of wonder. Oh, why are we singing this song? Star of night. It doesn't say night. You know, God had a light shine for 
Saul, who became Paul on the road to Damascus in the middle of the noonday sun? I don't, I, I'm not going to say night. I'm not going to say no, because the Bible doesn't say so. So I'm not going to stick my neck out. You say, well, what are you going to say about that star? Well, whenever these wise men showed up, there was a star. That star guided them at night or day. I don't know. And it brought them to the house where Jesus was. Star of royal beauty bright. I mean, have you read what uh, Revelation chapter 1 says? Stars are the angels. Would God make a star so beautiful, beautiful than Jesus Christ? For Isaiah 53 said there's no beauty that we desire. Because if we were to make a star very beautiful, beauty then more than Jesus Christ, then we would worship the star and our and the, the angel in our toast and the tree limbs and everywhere else where they would pop up. Now it was a it was a sight, it was something that these men traveled and said, hey, that's unusual. Like that sundial going back 10 degrees. Hey, that's unusual. And the Babylonians showed up. Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. And to Jesus. That's why they're wise men. But when you're going to take this, this carol, as far as a doctrinal sense, we don't know if there were three. They are not called kings. We don't know if they were from the Orient. We do know there were three king, three gifts. We do know they were given for Jesus Christ. We do know there was a star, but we don't know day or night. There's a lot of we don't know, and Mr. Hopkins filled in the blanks with tradition and not biblical tradition. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to look this up. This I, I think this I can find in the Bible. Let me check it out. I could be wrong. I mean, I don't want to be wrong. But let's see. Let's see if I can find this in the. Uh, oh, look at this. Matthew chapter 15, verse 6. Tradition says there's three. Traditions, I named you three men. I'm not going to name them again. But Matthew 15, 6. And honor not his father and mother, he shall be free. Thus have you made the commandment of God of none effect by your traditions. Mark chapter 7, verse 8. For laying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the tradition of men. Mark 7, 9. And he said unto him, Full well reject the commandment of God, that you may keep your own tradition. Tradition says there are three kings. But that's not what the Bible said. Oh, God, to you, we like our song. I would not want to be somebody to go to God in his word. Mark 7.13 making the word of God of none effect through your tradition. Tradition says there's three. Tradition says they're from the Orient. Tradition, tradition, tradition. The hell with tradition. Let's see what the Bible says. The Bible says, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east, the Gentiles, to Jerusalem, saying, where, this would be Shemites, we know that, saying, where is he that's born king of the Jews? So Jesus has already been born, for we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. That's kind of funny, because they saw the star in the east, but they're going west. They saw the star in the east, and they're coming west. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. The Jews should have been happy. Because watch what the Jews say. When he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded them where Christ should be born. 
And they said unto him, Watch, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the, in the land of Judah, art not least of the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a capital G governor, that shall rule my people Israel. And Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired them diligently when the time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him. All. Notice the high priest and them did not go either. They stayed in Jerusalem. The wise men, not kings, the wise men said, we're going to go find Jesus. I don't know if they knew his name, but we're going to find the one that's born. See, they had knowledge of the scriptures too. We know that there's a time that's coming the king of the Jews. And that's his star. And we're going to follow it. The Jews didn't follow him. They went, oh yeah, this is what the scripture says. La -da 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 -da. Man, they should have been celebrating. And they weren't. And when they had heard the king departing, lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. Stood. Stood. Revelation 1 says angels are stars. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. When they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Now, we don't know if it was in that order. We don't know, like, this later, here it all is. We don't know. Being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed unto their own country another way. Tell me where, please, tell me where you see three of them. Tell me where they're kings. Tell me they came from, what was that, China, Japan? Tell me. Give me chapter and verse with a book number, and I'll be happy. Whereas I've given you Matthew chapter 2. I believe the story of the mad guy coming. I believe they came to Jesus. I believe they, they gave him the gold, the frankincense, and the myrrh. I believe they followed the star. I believe they went to Herod. I believe everything in Matthew chapter 2. I just don't believe the nonsense that tradition adds to it. And let me, let me tell you something. From a priest a rector and a pastor that's behind a pulpit that came up with this carol is in charge of the music. When you add kings, when you add three, and you add all the nonsense, you are a liar. Because I cannot find king in the King James Bible. I cannot find three in the King James Bible. And I can't find where they came from, Japan, China, and the other places I mentioned in the King James Matthew chapter 2. And if it's not in the King James Bible, which I heard as the word of God, then if you add anything to it, you're a liar. You'd be found as a liar. And as far as the three names given to him, I, read, I did a search right in front, well, not in front of you, but I did a search right, right before your eyes where that guy's name is, and it don't show up. I even read an article that said the New American Standard Version of the Bible. I checked that. It does not say that. And I will point out the New American Standard Bible where they're wrong, but I don't find those names in that Bible. So I'll give them the credit there. And when we see Episcopal, and when we see Roman Catholic, and when we see you know traditions, and when we see religion, we got walk and thin ice. I want Bible. Remember the title. The biblical truth of our hymns. And the biblical truth today is there are no kings. We don't know if there are three of them. And then go on and on and on. So this one I'd throw out in the garbage can. i throw in the garbage can. I would not, never, myself, personally, in my opinion, garbage. One verse is wrong, totally. 
But you remember what Satan did in, in the garden? I mean, let's see what Satan did. Let's check out one stanza, two stanza, three stanza, four. Now the serpent, Genesis 3, was more subtile than any of the beasts of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, has God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden, questioning God's word. And the woman said unto the serpent, you, We may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden. For the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God said, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it. That was addition. Least, that's a subtraction. God said, Thou shalt surely die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. That's the really the only lie that Satan tells. God does know in the day that you eat thereof that your eyes shall be open. Ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. That's not a lie. Only thing that one stanza that Satan told a lie to Eva, thou shalt not surely die. Everything else is correct. Did not God say about the trees in the garden, Eve? Well, yeah. Well, thou shalt not die. That's not true. And the day you eat thereof, you shall know good and evil as the gods. That's true. I bring gold for a king. That's true. I bring the, the frankincense for the offerings of prayers. That's true. I bring the myrrh because, because you know, death and, and sorrows. and That's true. We three kings of... No, that's not true. There's the tactics of Satan right there. There's the tactics right there. So... It's up to you. I mean, you like it. I call it non-difficult. 